Good morning, everybody, and welcome to News Views. I'm Judy Sue. Later this morning, Governor Rauner will kick off a series of events to help mark the 200th birthday of the state of Illinois. A big celebration happens today at Navy Pier as part of the Winter Wonder Fest. The cast of Hamilton and other VIPs will be there to officially raise the curtain on the Illinois Bicentennial. And joining me right now to talk more about the year-long celebration is Deputy Governor Leslie Munger here with me and also State Tourism Director Corey Joe, good morning. Nice to have the both of you here. Good morning. Okay, Thanks so for the, having us. The official celebration kicks off really in just a few minutes over at Navy Pier. Let's talk about the significance of the bicentennial. What would you like people to know, Illinoisans know, as we're going into this, you know, this year? Well, this is a really exciting time for the state. Uh, it was 199 years ago today that Illinois became the 21st state of the Union. And so today we begin the year-long celebration of our bicentennial. You know, really, it's a 200th birthday. It does not happen every day so uh, we want to make sure that we have a big celebration about it the governor will be kicking it off shortly uh, at Navy Pier with a big uh, press conference and celebration in conjunction with Navy Pier's Winterfest uh, and along with uh, some of the bicentennial commissioners who will be there as well okay this is not a small undertaking I mean this no. took a lot of planning and tell everybody about the theme this year and also the meaning behind that so when we talk to people all around the state about what makes them proud about Illinois we heard people say well, it's because I was born here, or I grew up here, I built my business here, I raised my family here, I went to school here. And so our theme for this is born, built, grown in Illinois. And we are trying to look for things to celebrate all the various things that were born, built, and grown here. People, businesses, places. Illinois is the first skyscraper. Tootsie Roll started here, Radio Flyer. Um, we have four presidents uh, f from Illinois. Many, many things to be proud of. There is a lot of history here to talk mm -hmm. about. All right, I'm going to bring Corey in here to talk mm -hmm. a little bit about tourism. Obviously, the hope is a lot of these events will continue to drive tourism in the state. What are you seeing there right now this year and the forecast for next year? Well, tourism is a big business here in the state of Illinois. You know, last year we welcomed 112 million visitors to the state. About 87% uh, of those were here for leisure purposes. And so this gives us an, another opportunity uh, to talk about our historic sites, uh, the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library Museum in Springfield, uh, the governor's mansion or the executive mansion in Springfield, which has been uh, closed for renovations for the past year, led by uh, First Lady Diana Rauner, will reopen in August with new exhibit space and new ways to take tours. Um, so it gives us a, a new opportunity to talk about some things with, with a fresh set of eyes, with a new message. Uh, the, the Born, Build, Grown campaign is a great way to, uh, that we can dovetail into our, uh, our campaign at the Illinois Office of Tourism when we ask visitors, are you up for amazing? And there are some amazing experiences, uh, whether you're here in the city, um, out in the suburbs, uh, across our state. Uh, there are some great things to do and so we're excited to have the bicentennial talk about all the events that will be happening and a lot of our visitors come from within the state That's so right. this gives us an opportunity for people if you're here in the city or or in the suburbs or you're downstate to travel to uh, each other's communities and experience all these great events. And how does tourism impact the bottom line here in the state? How does it impact say jobs? Well tourism is the fourth largest industry in the state in the past two years, under Governor Rauner, we've created 20,000 uh, new tourism-related jobs. Uh, when you think about small business owners, uh, small businesses are really the, the backbone of our state's economy. And many of those small businesses um, rely uh, very heavily on the tourism industry. So when you think about the wine industry in southern Illinois, or you think about um, all the great activities along the Great River Road or out in Galena, uh, the great microbreweries, sites and attractions, the museum campus here in downtown Chicago, those wouldn't all exist without the tourism industry. And so we reap the benefits as citizens here of the state of, of uh, the quality of life, things that happen because of tourism. But when you think about it, small business owners, like I said earlier, are the backbone of our state's economy, and they rely heavily and they provide a lot of services uh, for visitors when they're here in the state. Now, speaking of the bottom line, Leslie, I have to ask you, for those who are watching and saying, you know, it's wonderful to celebrate the birthday, but given the news coming out of Springfield, the state really can't afford any of these celebrations, and you say? All of the bicentennial activities are being sponsored by generous donors. A lot of our companies all around the state have uh, chipped in. The 100-day countdown to the bicentennial, which we're culminating with today, was sponsored by BMO Harris Bank. Um, we have a number of sponsors. People can go to our website, Illinois 
Bicentennial200.com to see who all the sponsors are, but not one penny of tax dollars is going to fund any Bicentennial activities, all donated. Okay, well, with that, we're going to take a quick break right now. When we come back, we're going to tell you that there's a chance for you to take part in all of the Bicentennial celebration. We'll talk about that when we come back.